Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers G1 inspired retro reissue Headmaster Autobot Brainstorm. Between Brainstorm and Mindwipe I'm really divided as to who I was most looking forward to out of this particular wave. As I've already reviewed Mindwipe so far I'm more edging towards him however I've got to say that Brainstorm certainly looks as if though he's going to be a great contender. Taking a look here at the packaging you can see that once again Hasbro have decided to repackage the Titans Return figure in the G1 retro style package and I've got to say that it looks fantastic. I would really love to see this box art used on even some of the mainline figures as I think that it pops and really would stand out from any of the other products on toy store shelves. You can see that of course we do have the retro Transformers logo there at the top. We do have the conversion steps which are a lot more simplified than compared to the steps that I reckon this figure will indeed have. You can see that we do have an awesome image of Brainstorm there based on his original G1 artwork. We have a window view display which showcases him here in his jet mode with the blaster. We of course had the Headmaster Autobot Arcana and I was really looking forward to this particular Headmaster as I do believe this is a direct carryover from the original Takara Tomy release. As we take a look here towards the side of the box we have an image of him in robot mode as well as of course here in his hovercraft mode and then taking a look here at the back of the box once again much like I've mentioned in all of my reviews I love the artwork here between Fortress Maximus and Scorponok. It is a world of constant change where things are not what they seem. It is the world of the Transformers, a world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons. We also do get the classic tech specs, which of course you can clip and save. Autobot brainstorm function, biomechanical engineer. The strongest tyrant cannot crush freedom of thought. So full of ideas that he often begins disclosing a new one before he finishes explaining an old one. And you can see that judging by his tech specs, he does rank very highly in what appears to be intelligence. And then finally, as we take a look here at the side of the box, we have those same promo images. So without further ado, let's crack brainstorm open and see what awaits us inside. And so here we have Autobot Brainstorm and his Headmaster Arcana opened up and out of the packaging and I'm actually glad that I did miss out on the original releases of these figures as if I picked them up I probably wouldn't have added this figure here to my collection and in my opinion that would have been a missed opportunity by me as these figures here are potentially the most G1 accurate representations we are going to be getting of these characters from Hasbro from the foreseeable future. Kicking things off we'll firstly take a look here at the Headmaster Arcana and much like Mindwipe and Chrome Dome it never ceases to amaze me the amount of detail that Hasbro have managed to pack into these figures. Now, as mentioned when we took a look at the packaging, for the most part, this does appear to be a direct carryover from the original Takara Tomy release, and I say that because the head sculpt is much more accurate to his original G1 counterpart when compared to the original mass-released version of Brainstorm. The Takara Tomy release did have a head sculpt which looked very similarly to this, and I am glad that out of the two, they did decide to opt with this one. You can see that as far as detail is concerned, the visor, the nose, and the mouth have all been clearly depicted and the detail for the torso, arms and legs is truly mesmerizing. Getting down to how he actually incorporates with Brainstorm in his vehicle mode, you can see that we can lift this cockpit section here up on a ratchet joint and it will reveal a cockpit for him to indeed store within. I think that that is awesome and is a great play feature. We can then just snap that there over the top and he is clearly visible in there. I just think that is such an awesome concept. Now taking a look here at Brainstorm in his vehicle mode, to me I'm quite unsure as to whether or not this is a spacecraft, a hovercraft or perhaps some sort of alien ship. It certainly is a lot more visually appealing when compared to other spacecraft slash hovercrafts that we've seen from some of the Transformers figures. You can see that the entire nose cone has been completely picked out in this amazing almost aquamarine coloured blue. I think that, that looks absolutely incredible and the paintwork has come out so crisp and precise and hasn't been applied too thickly as the details are clearly visible and are incredibly crisp and precise. We also do have Brainstorm's blaster tabbed onto the underside and I think that this is potentially some of the best weapon storage that I have ever seen from a deluxe class figure. Taking a look at him from a side profile, very elegant and streamlined in terms of his design, which for a Titan's Return figure, I find mind-blowing. As we take a look here for the arms, you can see these sections have been completely cast out of grey, which I think contrasts so well here with the blue nose cone, as well as the green windshield that we do have. And as we take a look here towards the back, you can see some 5mm ports, which I'm pretty sure would accommodate our now commonly released blast effects. As we take a look here to the underside, he is very tightly compact. We do get three wheels on the underside, which does allow him to roll very smoothly along the ground which I think is awesome. This is something that the most recent Studio Series 86 Blur did actually lack so I am glad to see it here on a significantly older figure and taking a look here at the wings I think that these two are very aerodynamic in terms of their design and of course we do have the fin here at the top. Getting down to transformation to begin with you are just going to want to wriggle Brainstorm's blaster out which is a little easier said than done as it does tab in there very securely 
but just remove this and set that there off to the side. We can then take the headmaster and remove him and set him off to the side. You're then going to want to collapse the seat in there, which I must say too has some fantastic detail. And once that's done, that will allow you to clip this here all the way. So for jet mode, it is clipped in this far. For robot mode, you're going to want to compress it even further until this section sits very flush with the seat. With that now done, we can turn our attention here to the arms and you're just going to want to wriggle these here out to the side. We can then take this section, angle that there to the back, turn our attention here to the underside and just hinge the sections here out accordingly. Bring the legs down just like so. Turn around here to the front and fold the fin in. We can then snap that into place and fold down the toe. Of course, repeat the exact same process here on the opposite side to so just flip that down. Rotate the arms around and snap them into place. And all of the joints on this figure are very tight. There is no evidence of the mold degrading, which I find fantastic. Snap that into place. Take these sections here. Hinge those out to the back. And in regards to this nose cone, we have a couple of options. You can either leave it here on the back using the double hinge joint. But personally, I don't like the overall look at this. So what I tend to do is just simply remove it, which you are supposed to do. And this can act as an almost weapon or blaster for him in robot mode. So just ensure that everything is aligned up appropriately. We can take these wing pieces and just fold them there to the back. Bring out the headmaster, Arcana, and of course, transform him by folding the arms and the legs in and then just snap that into place. Now something which I've only just noticed is that these wing pieces are actually supposed to be reversed. I have no idea as to how they got like this out of the packaging but they are supposed to be in an orientation which looks something along the lines of this. So when we did have him into his spacecraft mode that was supposed to reveal the Autobot insignias here on the back. So definitely be cautious upon opening this figure out of the box. But with all that being said here we have Brainstorm fully transformed up into his robot mode and for sure this is one of the highlights out of the way I'm really divided on whether or not I prefer Brainstorm over Mindwipe and we still have hard head yet to go but taking a look here at Brainstorm in his robot mode I think that the head sculpt is a marked improvement over the original mass produced product now as mentioned previously I do believe that this is a carryover from the Takara Tomi exclusive release so whilst this isn't 100% new for this particular figure it still is a really nice inclusion you can see that the detail as well as the overall definition there to the sculpt has come out really well as so has the paintwork the yellow used there for the faceplate and the blue used there for the eyes I think complement each other really well as so does the grey that we have for the main helmet. As we take a look here for the shoulders I am so glad to see that these are not stickers despite them initially looking like stickers they are indeed printed on tampos which I think looks so much better. I really wish Hasbro would just completely eradicate all stickers on upcoming Transformers as this is certainly the way to go. As we take a look here for these wing sections these are on ratchet joints so you can hinge them forwards or hinge them out to the sides. I prefer to hinge them slightly so that it creates for a more dynamic look and then as we take a look here to the torso I love the way that the front windshield does compress very streamlined and elegant in terms of its design and I think that the skull work is very impressive as so is the overall color scheme I do like how they've managed to match the paint to the plastic that is something that has become an issue on some of the Earthrise figures but here for Brainstorm they do appear to have matched that perfectly as we take a look here for the arms you can see the blue hands as well as the overall sculpt they're looking very awesome and then taking a look here down to the thighs once again tremendous sculpt work even for the hinge joints to the the knees and then taking a look here at the shins very similarly to the shoulders they have opted to print on the details that as opposed to using stickers and I think that that has come out really well and is a great homage to some of the original G1 toys you can see the sculpt work there very crisp and precise and if you do remove that entire nose cone section it does create for a very elegant and streamlined profile here from the back so overall as far as robot mode is concerned I think that this figure here looks fantastic in regards to articulation as the head is of course a headmaster it is on a ball joint so you can look left to right up and down and tilt side to side. We do get full 360 rotation here at the arms as well as a hinge joint out to the sides. Full 360 rotation here at the bicep, 90 degree bend there at the elbow as well as a full 360 here at the wrist. The waist is on a rotation so it can rotate the full 360. The legs are on ball joints so it can kick forwards that far, back that far as well as out to the sides. Full 360 rotation here at the thigh, 90 degree bends here at the knee and due to transformation you can pivot the toe forwards and backwards. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that as it may cause some issues in regards to the stability. As far as weapon implementation is concerned, you saw in jet mode that he does come with one blaster and this too has been cast in a very similar colour to what we saw for the robot mode so you can see the detail is so nice on this particular piece and of course we can just port that there 
into the arm. We can take this attachment here and use this as a shield, which I personally am a massive fan of. So you can have this as an almost blaster slash shield weapon here for Brainstorm, and it looks very awesome when actually posed alongside the figure. Or something else which you can do with this figure is actually take this section here and fold this piece here out, which will create an almost sledge for Arcana himself when in the Headmaster form. So we can just remove him, fold out the arms and the legs, and of course, repeat the same process here on the opposite side. And he simply does just tab into the bed section of this so you can have him sitting in there. And much like we've seen from the likes of Chrome Dome and Mind Wipe, this does create for an almost turret, which he can indeed mount. What I like to do is to give him an almost 07 movie Megatron weapon, which is to fold the hands in like so. And we do get two tabs here and here, which both of the hands can indeed snap into so we can have him wielding that like so and i think that that is really really awesome of course very ridiculous in terms of its design but the play features with these headmasters really is pretty much endless and so some final thoughts overall i am very impressed by this particular retro reissue i love that hasbro are taking some of these newer figures and are giving them more g1 accurate inspired paint decos this particular version of brainstorm i think is potentially the best version that we have got even surpassing the takara tomi release which is always supposed to be the definitive representation of the character. I think that his robot mode looks very impressive, very G1 accurate, as so is the amazing looking head design, and the colour palette, the paintwork has all come out really crisp and precise. I do like the additional accessories such as the blaster, and the fact that you can remove the front nose cone and use it as a shield or a blaster. I also do like the compatibility between the headmaster and some of the additional accessories. I think that that creates for some great play options and display options. The transformation is incredibly fun to go from robot to vehicle mode, and of course vice versa and his hovercraft mode I've got to say is one of the sleekest looking jet modes that I have ever seen a really well done deluxe figure and the Titans return line certainly did have some hidden gems that I am glad Hasbro is now giving me the opportunity to revisit so with all that being said if you missed out on the original version of this or are now after a more accurate representation of Brainstorm I would say to pick this figure up I think that he is leaps and bounds better than any of the previous versions that have come before him which is something that you cannot say for some of the other figures some of the figures in this line do only have minimal changes where here with Brainstorm I think that he has drastic changes. I really hope that you enjoyed my review if you did please do let me know down in the comment section below. Also be sure to let me know on what you think of the figure and whether or not you will be adding him to your collection. I thank you all for watching and until my next review I'll see you then.